Good morning guys. Oh my goodness, this is the first time I've worn makeup since the wedding like two weeks ago nearly. Um, <laughs> been good though to like let my skin just breathe. Like I just haven't really done anything that needed makeup. Like on a holiday I just wanted to not bother with doing makeup. And I'm really pleased that I stuck to it. Um, I'm coming from you from a wardrobe meltdown. Like I just feel like I've got nothing to wear really. Um, I just put this on which n I haven't got anything maternity. This is just a t-shirt that I had from before and normal leggings so oh, I just like I just want to put something on and feel comfortable in it which is absolutely fine because today we're going shopping and I'm going to get myself a couple of things like I just really want to get some jeans and maybe a couple of tops just some basics to have something to wear basically oh my god and I'm out of breath from all the kerfuffle of trying to find something to wear um so we're going to Southampton I'm just waiting for Ross to get back he's taken Bear for a walk and dropping him off at his mum and dad's for the day and then we're going to go to Ikea have a wander around I want to look at their um, nursery furniture mostly and probably just like a couple of other bits my hair's annoying me today as well and then we'll probably get some lunch have a wander around the aim of today is Ikea for nursery furniture and baby shops to look at prams for the first time so that is the main aim of today not to buy one but to kind of pick one hopefully and then um just a few other clothes shops like i said i want to get some maternity clothes ross has got a couple of things he wants to do um so yeah that's the plan and then at six o'clock randomly on a friday i have got an mri scan which is my first and probably only scan that i have whilst i'm pregnant um so i'm definitely feeling a bit nervous about well not about the scan itself but about getting results which will be next week so fingers crossed i will keep you updated on that oh and also last night i had my first bump yoga class and i really enjoyed it it's like a nice hour and a half long session and it's just really chilled the stretches feel really good my lower back has been hurting a lot lately so it was good for that and just have some time out and just try not to think about anything other than the fact that there's a little baby in my belly so I very much enjoyed that um what else what else what else so I've made myself a little itinerary for today I'm not going to tell Ross though because I feel like it'd get a bit stressful if he knows what times I've set us um he's currently running a bit late but he doesn't know <laughs> um I want to try and leave here by quarter past 10 so as soon as he gets in he's going to have to turn around eat something and go I'm also going to remember to take my empty Mac containers, which I forgot last time I was in Southampton, so I can go to Mac and John Lewis and swap these for a new lipstick. I'm hoping they've got the Jamie Genevieve, although I don't know if you can do back to Mac on Jamie Genevieve. I just arrived in Southampton. My hair is really growing. I tied up this top bit because it was annoying me. My fringe is just like the front bit of my hair really annoys me because it's like a funny length. <laughs> you're like this looking at me like I'm like you're learning something. You need to show you I need to shave it off. Um, yeah, we're nearly at Ikea. I was like, what was I going to say? I was going to say something. Oh, I'm so hot. <laughs> Literally been like sweating. And I had my hand up here, like near the, not on the window, but near the window. And then it was like condensation. It's not pretty. I've got something in my eye. We've just been to Ikea, but we kept it quite quick. We didn't really buy much. I'll show you what we bought later. But I think we'll fix the, the, and the changing table but we are gonna buy it another day and we've come to five guys for some lunch. Excited to look at prams. Huh? <laughs> excited to look at prams? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh that's great light. <laughs> um doesn't really matter. Um we've just got back in the car, we've actually been shopping for ages haven't we? Yes. It's five o'clock now and we and got pram. Five o'clock now, and we got to Southampton at like half eleven. But yes, we think we have. I should. Re oh, I really meant to film us looking at prams. I'm such a loser. I didn't film anything about the prams. But I think we have. Well, we have picked one we like, but it is quite expensive. So I just need to go away and look at it online properly and just check. But it's a bugaboo fox. But it's one that's just in John Lewis at the moment. And then I went and bought some maternity clothes and it feels so much comfier. I've literally went and got changed into them straight away because I didn't even realise like, that I wasn't that comfortable before until I put on maternity ones and oh my god, it feels so much better. I will show you what I bought when I get home and we also bought little boys some clothes as well, which we didn't really plan on doing, did we? But 
we just bought some things that we liked. I think that was it, wasn't it? We also bought some trousers. So now we're on our way to the hospital for my scan. Not baby scan, MRI scan. It's clearly my most fetching look of the day. <laughs> and that is hospital done. I am, um, oh she had to, I had to lay on my back, which is great, but it's fine for a little bit. And he was wriggling loads while I was laying there. So I was like, okay, he's like telling me that everything's okay. And then she had to help me sit up. Did she? <laughs> yeah, cause I've got, I've got really bad lower back pain at the moment and I'm all right in any one position. So if I'm sat down, laid down, walk it, no, walking's a bit iffy, but most positions I'm fine in, but then changing positions. So if I go from sat to stood up, like that really hurts, so. Yeah, she said, do you want a hand? I was like, yes, please. <laughs> we are home, and it's much later than I expected. Well, I just, I knew it was gonna be kind of late, but it's like half eight now. Um, anyway, I just thought I would, I'm just gonna get changed in some comfies, but I thought I'd show you what I bought from H&M today. Oh, this room is a mess, but it's just cause I've got loads of stuff piled up to go in the loft. So I just need to get it out of the way, anyway. This is what, um, well, this jacket is mine already. And I bought this stripy top. Let me take my jacket off. So yeah, I got this long sleeved stripy top and it has kind of the gathered bit here. And then these are the jeans I got, which are, I think these are skinny, but they're kind of like loose on the ankle. I have not worn ripped jeans for ages, but I really liked these. Whilst I'm here, I also got these Mama Super Skinny jeans in black. They are like black jeans and I just got them because I can wear these to work and it also means I get like more use out of them rather than just having something for work. And this is another long sleeve stripy top. I think this is like, I don't know if that's black or navy blue. Me and Ross always have an argument about whether I think something is black or navy blue. And then these are literally just some basic leggings, which were really comfy. And I have also got some comfy trousers, but I'm gonna put these on now, so I'll show you them. These are the kind of comfy jogging bottoms I bought. Um, I know they just look like simple gray bottoms, but they're so soft. I don't know if it'll focus on them. Yeah, these are literally so soft. They're quite a thin material. Um, these were 19.99, and I got them in a medium, which should be like my normal size. All of the clothes I bought are in my normal size. The jeans are both size 10, which is what I would buy when I'm not pregnant. And they're both over the bump, oh, and they're both over the bump as well, which I just find more comfortable. These are also over the bump, so they've kind of got this panel here that keeps the bump in. Oh, I can also show you bits we have bought for baby Richards too, I think. Are they all in here? No. Something's missing. Do you have another bag? Oh, there's another bag. Hang on. Huh. Um, well, I'm hoping that Ross has driven off with the other bag because, so he's just literally got home and dropped me off and we're missing a bag. So I'm hoping he's left it in the car and gone off with it because otherwise I don't know where it is. Anyway, I can show you the bits we got from Zara, but we also got some clothes from John Lewis as well. They must be in the car. Hang on, uh, maybe I'll put you down somewhere. So we popped into Zara and, oh my God, I didn't even see the back pocket on these. These are so adorable. I don't know, it, like anyone who says boys clothes are boring, I'm not finding that so far. These little trousers from Zara and they have their nice and soft on the inside. They're like jersey material on the inside. And I guess they're a bit rougher on the outside, but they'll be really comfy against his skin. And um, I don't know how to describe them. Like that's like the material. And then the buttons kind of go up on the side. And then this is the bit I've only just noticed. There's like a knitted pocket on the back. How cute is that? And oh, this is so soft. We also got him. So these are actually uh, six to nine months. And then We've got this little jumper, which is nine to 12 months, little cardigan. This is little brown cardigan, so soft, and it has little embroidered ice creams all over it. So it's kind of like grown up really, but then I just love that it's got that like bit of fun. It's ice creams, isn't it? 
I'm sure that's ice cream. But then I knew it was had a hood, but then Ross was like, oh my god, look at the hood and look at it! It was like pointed with a little bobble. That's so cute. So they were both from Zara. We also bought him something from, we bought him some joggers, I think, from H. I've so lost count of what we bought. But I think it was joggers from H&M and then some bits in John Lewis. And I'm really hoping that Ross has driven off with them in the car. Okay, so the uh, very unexpected thing is that Ross had put them straight in the baby room. So he's actually just been tidy and organised, which I did not expect. So <laughs> let me show you what else we got. This. Oh, no, it was a jumper from H&M. Literally, I lost count. I mean, it sounds like we bought loads. We didn't. Um, this is four to six months. H&M sizes are completely different to anywhere else you buy baby clothes and it's got this little woodland theme on it and I'm really really into to the woodland theme. I really like things like this with this kind of print. So it's got bears, foxes, mountains, birds and it says take care of our forest. So yeah, I love that. Ross picked that. In fact, Ross picked everything in here. These are the joggers that we got. They're from H&M. Um, oh my god. They're from John Lewis. We got these from John Lewis and these have got dragons all over them. It looks like a dragon chasing a squirrel, which is really normal. And these are in not to three months. Another pair of jogger bottoms, which feel like they've got really long legs. We got these in three to six months because they're really nice. They're like a bit different that they're knitted. But they look like quite a small fit, as in we just were like, well a nappy really fit in there, so we've bought the bigger size rather than getting like the diddy size. And they've got these cute little knee patches. I love them. And then this was like, Ross got himself far too excited about this, literally. He was like, I can't, he could not put this down. Like there was no way he was leaving the shop without it. And it is this little, like, all in one. What's like, they think this is little. This is newborn, so goodness knows how long this cute little thing's gonna last him. Not very long, I expect. But like I said, Ross was obsessed, and look, it's quite cool because it just pulls down at the front. So it's very like a violent move. But yeah, the whole front just pulls down. So I imagine that's quite handy. And it's quite thick. It's not proper like snowsuit thick, but it's a uh, kind of like like wearing a hoodie basically, and it has little ears as well. So it's very cute and it's very soft. A few bits for the baby boy today. I will also, let me just put this away. I'll also show you what we got in Ikea. We didn't get loads because really I just wanted to go and have a look at the cot and see it in real life. Although I did mean to measure the spare room before we went and I bloody forgot. So that wasn't very useful, but I think it's fine. I think it's gonna fit, but it's just nice to see it. So, this whole area needs sorting, so don't judge on the mess of this, but I got this plant, and this is from Ikea, and it looks really fake, but it is real. And these are fake, and they need cutting to size and rearranging, I need a plant to go in that pot. And then I also got this, um, what do you call it? oh, hanging plant, because I've had this pot here for ages, which needs a hanging plant in it. So I need to probably repot that in there at some point. And, oh, actually, <laughs> there is more to this than what we bought in Ikea. This is what our kitchen currently looks like because we finally decided to do the kitchen DIY that we've been talking about. We have said for, oh, let me change the lights in here. So we've said for a really long time that we wanted to take down our top cupboards and replace them with shelves and we finally decided to take down the cupboards, which means we have to do the DIY now, basically, doesn't it? So, um, yeah, the plan is we've got this board, this letter board, that will cover the uh, boiler on hinges so you can still get to the boiler. And then my kitchen table is a mess because of all the stuff that's come out of the cupboards at the moment. So basically, we made this table ourselves and we're gonna make shelves in the same way, so it will just be like too wide. And then Sorry, my um, memory card was full and I can't remember what I was saying. Um, oh, I don't know, I just showed you how the shelves were gonna look. 
um, basically we had to take down the top row of tiles because these were only half tiles which had been done to fit where the cupboards were obviously so we had to take that down and we'll replace it with a row of complete tiles we've still got these tiles left from when we tiled in the first place so then the shelves will sit like here and here so we need to build the shelves we want to paint this end of the kitchen a different color so we've currently got like this gray and then this end of the um, room is these kind of duck egg tiles and we're basically going to keep all of this as it is but the, the wall behind the shelves will probably be a very dark blue and then we're probably going to paint the cupboards as well because we don't think that they will look right against the wood of the shelves in fact we did we did already make some shelves so basically they will look like the ones in our downstairs toilet but they will be too wide like not not too not like too wide <laughs> too wide so that you can fit a plate onto it so that is the plan for the kitchen which we just need to pull our fingers out and bloody well get done now especially because the kitchen will be a bit of a mess until then um, I can hear my neighbours like shrieking, they're having some sort of party out there or in the living room. Oh god. Anyway, um, oh well, let me get the bits out and then I'll show you what else we've got in here. Okay, this is not the most exciting thing to show you but I got this drying rack. I've been really off drying racks. When we moved into this house I got rid of the one that we did, we had in our old house. But I kind of want one. Mainly because, part, well, partly because I've got really obsessed with cleaning because I watched bloody Mrs. Hinch say that. I don't mean to sound so mean, but I just, I, I avoided it for so long because I was like, oh, I'm either going to hate it or I'm going to get really obsessed. Well, you can guess which of the two happened. So I've got like all my cleaning bits, like sponges and things I want to put in there. And it just would be quite handy for when I wash the odd bit up because I've got a dishwasher. Um, and it's quite handy as well because it has a, like a drip tray under here so it's not always going to mark the stainless steel which is handy and then I bought these jars so obviously we have exposed shelves so things like cereal and pasta will be on show and I want to make it look nice before I sit down I think I might make myself some crumpets because it's actually been a long time since we had lunch now and I could do with a little snack so yeah, crumpets are better. Look at this little sleepy bean on the sofa. You probably won't be able to see him. Oh yeah, you go. Oh, little bear cub. So tired because he's just got back from Ross's parents. Good morning, guys. What a look I'm sporting this morning. Is this, what do we think of the plaits? Obviously, I'm joking. Well, I'm not joking, but I've washed my hair this morning and I really want to avoid using too much heat on my hair. Obviously, I was moaning on a Friday about how I hate the front bits of my hair, that they just won't grow. I really want them to be the same length as my hair. So I was like, do you know what? Put some plaits in, don't use heat, let it dry. So we just have to deal with this look right now. And I've just put on like really minimal makeup because we're not really doing much today. Kind of need to go food shopping, but really don't want to. So I'm going to go downstairs and have a hunt through the freezer and see if there's anything... on my head. Um, see if there's anything that I can get by without doing any more food shopping today we'll see what i can find in the freezer for the week um yesterday i started vlogging and then i have no idea what happened but i just stopped <laughs> so just quickly now hang on so just quickly i'm gonna insert a clip from yesterday just because i was talking about what i was doing in the kitchen so that will kind of make sense so i'll insert that here good morning I have just been sorting out some bits from the bits I got in Ikea yesterday. I've just washed all the jars, watered the plants so that I can put them properly in their homes and fill these jars up. We've taken the dog for a walk and I'm just trying to do a bit of sorting out really. This place is still such a mess. Look at this table. I need to try and move around as much of this as I can even though we haven't obviously sorted out this end of the kitchen yet. I'm going to fill the holes in um, where the cupboards have come out. Look at these holes. And I have found an amazing tutorial for the shelves for here because we already knew what we wanted to do kind of but we weren't sure on the brackets but I found a copper pipe shelving tutorial which looks so easy probably not as easy as it they made it look but 
we're gonna do that I think um, which means we know exactly what we need to do so I need to plan kind of the size and everything I'm also at some point gonna spray these pipes copper so I might actually have some copper spray in the shed I'll go and have a look in a minute when I go and find the poly filler and <laughs> now I'm back who acted today which is Sunday and I will show you kind of what I was doing in the kitchen it hasn't changed a lot but I have planned the shelves so I've done the DIY copper shelf plan look there's like three of me vlogging right now and in the screen up here um so what do I, I need to do I, I don't know I, I've got a really full brain like I feel like I've got loads to do and then when I come to do stuff I'm like what did I need to do Maybe I didn't need to do so many things. Maybe I'm just like, maybe it's just all in my head. Anyway, I'm gonna have some breakfast and work out what I need to do today. All right, I've made myself like the, what looks like the messiest bacon and egg muffin ever. I'm gonna catch up on Big Brother whilst I eat that. And then I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Still rocking my uh, rather fetching look this morning. Um, I've just <clears throat> I've just been editing uh, last week's vlog, which is the holiday vlog, and I thought it would be really boring and short and like nothing because we, we weren't really doing anything on holiday. But I actually quite enjoyed it. It's quite nice to look back on. And um, Ross is currently using my new mop, which I'm very excited about. The house smells very nice. And I thought I'd show you my bits from IKEA because I put the plants in their pots. So this is the hanging plant that I got. And this t-shirt really does not fit. And then this is the other plant that I got and I just need to get a new plant for that plant pot because then when that is done, this little green area will be finished. Hello. Oh, just watching me wherever you go, isn't he? Oh no, wherever I go. Wherever I go, always watching me. Hello. <laughs> so this is the colour that I tested in the kitchen and I do really like it it just looks really dark on camera actually but it is a really dark blue and I really really love it and I would love to commit to it but I'm just I'm getting a bit scared because it is a really bold colour and I'm just a bit concerned although it's quite far away will it clash with this wall and just be a bit too much colour so we're gonna go and I've taken my hair out of my plaits. <laughs> um, we're gonna go and get a dark grey, you know, grey, um, a dark grey test pot just so we've got it as a comparison. So we're gonna go and do that now and look at some bits to get the shelves. Um, I don't think I should do this. I sprayed the piping up here copper yesterday. So that is just a big plastic, it was just a white big plastic um, pipe. And the others are actually copper pipes, but they've been painted white. So spray little copper, so that would look really nice against that colour, but it's just quite a bold colour to potentially cover if we ever decide, or if, like, if we decided we didn't like it. I love it, I just don't know if our kitchen can pull it off. We're also gonna get a test pot for the bathroom upstairs as well, because that colour's annoyed me ever since I put it on the walls. Everywhere, I just got in the car, and I was welcomed by a lovely smell of cabbages. I was like, what on earth have you done in it? What have you left in this car? Football boots. Oh, look at us. Oh no, I've got a Bernie oh, Hedge oh, trophy and stuff. Oh, <laughs> oh, you've got your green jacket. <laughs> I didn't realize. Are you going to be looked at? Is it when I put the camera on sad, you? I was like, oh. That sad couple were dressed the same. <laughs> <laughs> and I was dressed first. I know, but I haven't got much I can wear. Have I'm sure you got a blue one. Is it blue? Because I thought it was blue and then I looked at it and thought, Ross is going to tell me that's black. I thought it was blue when you bought it. But that's blue and white. This is black and white. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> How is that? This is black and white. Oh, God, that looks blue to me. We, have, we definitely have an issue with blue and black. Left this is black. This is black. Yeah. Black cream. and cream. Oh god, I look like a spaniel. What have I done to my hair? Um and Ross has got a really nice new impression of me. He says when I'm angry that I do this with my chin. <laughs> and I just bash about with my chin out. <laughs> I'm in a bit of a funny five minutes in Wix. 
I really like these two colours. This for the wall would be nice and then this for our cupboards. Oh, it. Yeah, we just can't actually find it. Oh my god, it's so spangly. Um, no, everything is, is too blue. The guy that just served us in home base said, like your stripes today. <laughs> well, guys, I could try and fool you into thinking I went and did my makeup, but I didn't. It's the next day. I'm wearing the same top. Forgot to end the vlog, didn't I? Basically what happened, I got back from shopping, like home base and stuff that we were doing, and I cooked a roast dinner and I completely forgot to pick up the camera again. But I thought, you know what, it doesn't matter. I was literally falling asleep on the sofa last night and I just thought, what is the point? I will just finish it tomorrow morning. But I did want to show you the colours that we picked up. So, I'd shown you this colour, hadn't I, this blue. So basically, we picked up this colour. That's only one coat though. That is it, two coats. So it's really, really dark. But I like it because it's not as blue as that one. You see how that is like blue? <laughs> Can I say that any louder? And that's really, really dark. So I feel like that won't clash as much with this end of the room. And then in the cupboard is a little sample. And I think we like the idea of painting the doors this colour. This one. I just wanted to touch that one then. Oh, it feels weird though. Like, has anyone ever painted their kitchen cupboards before? I'd be interested to know, like, what it's like. How has your bowl moved all that way? Like, you right there, mate? Um, I'll show you the paint colour. If anyone is wondering what the blue is, it is Craig and Rose Lido Blue. We've had to picked it up in home base. The colour on the cupboards is. Oh, actually, that's true. This isn't a cupboard paint. This is just the tester colour. It would actually be cupboard paint, so that would be better than that. that. one doesn't feel very nice, basically, but yeah, waffling. This is Dove Grey, which is a home base colour. And then, if I show you this one, so this is Copper Blush, which is a Dulux colour, which we are thinking about to do the bathroom in and it is a bit of a risk especially considering I don't really like the colour that's in there at the moment and now I'm going for another risky colour um I had something a bit lighter and maybe a bit pinker in my head but I quite like this like terracotta -y kind of colour um that is what it looks like instead of this like turquoisey blue colour um hmm feels like a bit of a risk but I also feel like it will be good once it's like dressed in here and I've actually, I want to put some plants in here I want to put a shelf up so maybe if I did all of that but then I'm like well if I did all of that maybe I'd like the colour it is now I don't know, I need to have a think about that one and decide what to do, let me know what you think of that colour do I have anything else to tell you? so I, I could give you like a very quick bump update actually there's not a huge amount to actually update on but this is one wriggly little boy in here I just need to turn my egg oh no yes he is wriggling a lot now which is nice and weird and all sorts of things all at the same time because obviously it's lovely it's also a very weird sensation to get used to like since yesterday evening especially it feels like he's just constantly been like on the wriggle so yeah, it's really strange. I really want him to like react to voices and sounds and things, but I'm sure that will all come. I'm currently 24 and a half weeks, so it'll be 25 weeks in a couple of days. Um, but I don't think there's much else to be honest, other than the fact that I've been doing bump yoga. Um, bump's getting bigger. So yeah, that's it really. Um, last week's vlog was the holiday vlog, so if you didn't watch it, it'll be linked below it'll be linked to my travel vlogs and my 2018 vlogs actually so i hope you enjoyed that one i hope you enjoyed this slightly more homey vlog and i hope <laughs> anyway i'm gonna have an evening in front of the tv now i've got so much tv to catch up on and i need to just tell myself to just sit down and just chill so i'm gonna go and do that and i will see you next week make sure you subscribe give it a thumbs up leave me a comment and I will see you next time.